with the Minister for Livestock, Honorable uh, Sega Lisa. Uh, we just came back from uh, a short trip over the weekend that we did to Queensland, uh, especially in the North Queensland area. As a closest neighbor to Australia, uh, sharing a border, we felt that uh, it's more faster and uh, to bring the uh, live cattle for a slaughtering here. The recent visit to Sugarbeg Yard by the Ministry of Livestock and the members of the Livestock Development Corporation is to continue the dialogue with Sugarbeg and progress the agreement this year. We had previously made an agreement, uh, signed an agreement with uh, a cattle exporter by the name of, uh, uh, with a company by the name of Sugarbeg Yard uh, in North Queensland. The arrangement was that uh, Sugarbeg was going to supply the uh, cattle uh, for PNG, both as uh, slaughter cattle as well as for breeders. Uh, the arrangement was made uh, through a company uh, back in 2020. Uh, uh, the company's name is uh, Taylor Pacific. Taylor Pacific was going to import the cattle from Sugarbeg, uh, put them on the ship send them to PNG and we were going to uh, bring them over to Tiaba for slaughtering. And that's under the existing import protocols that we have PNG as with Australia. Uh, unfortunately, we were not able to uh, progress this one uh, due to the fact that COVID-19 uh, COVID came in and it disrupted our progress. So the uh, importer was not able to actually bring the cattle in from Australia as intended originally. Minister for Livestock Seki Agisa and uh, the Managing Director for the Livestock Development Corporation had a face-to-face -face discussion with uh, Brian Henry, the owner of Sugarbag, and he's willing to progress the agreement with a PNG. Uh, we visited uh, Sugarbag quarantine yards up in uh, uh, Mount Gannett. Uh, we were surprised to see that uh, he was he is a cattle farmer that is certified by the Australian federal government and also is certified by the Queensland state government to be able to export cattle from Australia uh, on behalf of the cattle farmers in Australia. So that's something that uh, some exporters don't have. Some of them have uh, certification from uh, either the state government or the uh, federal government. But Brian Henry has got certification from both the state and the federal government. Mr. Henry owns a quarantine facility and an export yard as well. Mr. Agisa and Mr. Coim did visit both yards to learn more about Suga Bank. If we are exporting to PNG from here, uh, this is one dip. And that's good enough for it to actually go to PNG. No. We have to do no, another no, one? No, no, no. So, to go to Papua New Guinea, so for what we're doing here in the domestic realm, mm -hmm. crossing the internal um, uh, quarantine line that I showed you the, that yes, map yes. with the red and the green, that is correct. That is all we, so they've done a pre-treatment six to nine days ago with a poron. Yes. Um, so they've had a pre-treatment, then we do our inspection, they clear or we get dipped. We issue a certificate, they've got 24 hours to lift them out of the yards and 24 hours to get them across the line. When we're going to New Guinea, we have got to do a lot more. From the visit, Sugarbag is set to supply PNG with 20,000 cattle for both breeding and slaughtering. However, PNG needs to set up its quarantine facility first in order to open trade. Uh, when we were up there, he told us, I'm willing to start exporting uh, 20,000 slaughter cattle right now, are you willing to take this? And I said, okay, let me and Minister go back to PNG and uh, uh, sort ourselves out. Um, 
uh, meaning that we'll have to get the abattoirs up and running, upskill our staff, and then get an investor to actually work with the LDC so that they can uh, import this. Because LDC cannot uh, do this on its own because we have got to be a regulator. Uh, we cannot just do business as we were internally, uh, originally intended to do. Uh, we will now have to allow a partner to come with LDC to do the business using the LDC's assets like the abattoir and the, uh, and the cattle ranches. It's a requirement for any live animals or livestock coming into a country. This uh, facility is built to uh, at least go through parenting. So that's an uh, appeal to the uh, treasurer and even national planning ministers, please. The, it's a requirement by another government for us to have these facilities built so we start importing. Uh, slaughter cattle to start slaughtering uh, and before we start importing breeders we have to require uh, actually have these uh, slaughter cattle and uh, meeting the requirement uh, before we start uh, them allowing us to import the breeder cattle. Now the demand for meat and meat products in PNG is gradually increasing every year. Currently, PNG is spending around 400 million kina every year to import meat and meat products. Now, the livestock industry is hopeful the agreement between Sugabag and PNG will see a decrease in the amount the country spends on imported meat products. Mm -hmm.